Ellsworth. Today, the CBI also arrested the owner of the farmhouse where Sorapuddin's wife, Kosarbi, was murdered. Another link in the case. Rajendra Jirawala, the 17th accused in the Sorapuddin fake encounter case. And with his arrest, the CBI believes it's got a stronger case against Amit Shah for the murder of Sorabuddin's wife, Kosarbi. Shah, Gujarat's deputy home minister till last week, is in jail with 15 police officials and allegedly masterminded the murder of Sorabuddin and then his wife as she was a witness. Kosarbi was allegedly murdered at Jirawala's farmhouse by the then anti-terror squad chief DG Vanzara and his men. Jirawala was denied bail and alleges is being targeted because he is the brother of a BJP corporator. There is no question of use of the farmhouse. The CBI told us that your brother called us yesterday and said that you don't do the corporate. Now there is no question of the corporate. But Shah faces more trouble. An accused cop, Narendra Amin, wants to depose against Shah by turning an approver. And today, details emerged of the charge sheet against Shah, which said, Surabuddin was used by Amit Shah and an IPS official, Abhay Chudasama, for extortion. Shah and Vanzara wanted to implicate Surabuddin in a sensational case to justify his killing. By killing Surabuddin, Shah and others wanted to instill fear in the minds of businessmen they were targeting. Audio recordings of conversation between accused reveal instructions given by Amit Shah to kill Kosarbi. And Shah asked senior policemen DG Vanzara, Rajkumar Pandian and Abhay Chudasama to kill Surabuddin. Even as the CBI continues to unravel this conspiracy and arrest more suspects, the focus now shifts from this court to the Sabarmati jail, where for the next three days starting Wednesday, Gujarat's former Home Minister Amit Shah will be grilled by the special investigation team. In Ahmedabad with camera person Natwar Parmar, Tejas Mehta for NDTV.